Because most mornings, if you are looking at things properly, most mornings are relatively easy. That's what's so beautiful about this game, that the vast majority of mornings are not complex or difficult. You know, um, and if you feel they are, you're prob you probably should go back to the drawing board with your knowledge and education because most mornings are relatively simple. Um, this is not one of those mornings. But it's great that we're in craft or an art where what we do is easy most of the time. You know, easy most of the time. But this morning is not one of those easy mornings. The market is sort of like if we give the market a personality, um, if we look at it like a personality, it's confused. It's trying to make up its mind. What should I be today? Should I put the bull costume on? Should I put the bear costume on? I don't know what costume I should be putting on here. You know, that's if you were to personify the um, market, that's basically what it's saying right now. So guys, sometimes in these types of markets, right? Sometimes uh, flipping to the five minute chart helps, all right? So oh, guys, here's a uh, Baba short here. This thing can easily flip back on me here. See that? Look at that. It can easily flip like that on you. On me. There we go. Whoa. Okay, like that. Not bad, $5,800, boom. Minute and a half, gotta love it, gotta love it. Beauteous, you like that, you like that, you like that? In your face, in tu cara. It's waiting for your moment, guys. Waiting for your moment. Waiting for your moment. Boom. Boom. Eight minutes. Ocho minutos. Who else took that play? Did anybody else take Baba by the, by the way? Any of my Baba players? Naira, you took it? Beautiful. I love it. Excelente. Ronaldo, you took it? Nice. Henry took it. Diego, Solomon. Woo! I love it. Boom! Yeah, but uh, that's not that's not rocket science right there, guys. You know, let me get my pen up here. That's not rocket science. That's just, and I didn't even short it early. I mean, the the real early entry is here with a tight stop. I just shorted it basically there, guys. You know that the um. 
the anticipation entry on a bear 180 is like 80%, right? So I went short there, more or less. But this could have been an entry too with a tight stop right there. And remember, you want to throw these things together and look at that like that, see? You're in Disney short. All right, cool. I see that. What else is going on? eBay. Guys, once you're in a play, you, it's no longer yours. Remember that. That's a, Keep reminding yourself of that. You don't have any control once you're in. Your plan takes over, right? So part of your plan must be when you add, part of your plan must have rules when you take profits, when you adjust your stops, when you stop out, you understand? You're not in control of that. If you stop out, that's not your fault unless your entry was wrong or you selected a sloppy play. That can be wrong. But assuming that you took a very solid event in a good location and you get stopped out, that's not your fault. That's just the numbers. That's like a poker player who, who, a championship poker player who doesn't win every single hand, but they usually win at the end of the day, at the end of the championship. So what's the end of the championship? How many, how many hands, how many, how many games of poker make up the championship? How many? How many trades make up a championship? 20. There you go. Thank you, um, Ambush.
All right, guys, what are you doing? Starbucks? Tyler? All right. Would you go long on that bottoming? Are you would you go long on that bottoming tail bar? All right. Yeah, guys, you know these market four things, right? So you've got drop, failure to make a new low. Boom. Market law four. Right. Um, usually means a uh, higher prices, right? Um, so I sort of saw with eBay to drop failure to make a new low. Now we've got this. So I think these things are higher today, guys. We're going to see. See if I'm right. What else are you guys doing? Talk to me. Richard, you took guilt. Okay, a little trap zone play there. I see it. I like that short though. I like that. Breaking the shelf here, these, these tails. I like it. And you, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, I see more bullishness than bearishness right now. moving higher. Ouch. I'm um I need to see more to really commit more here. Square long on the clearing elephant. Okay, I like it. And the clearing elephant. Oh, followed by the initial strong elephant. Bob is moving up. Yeah, these things look higher. That's it.
A little bit more, more please. No, no. There you go. I like it. I'll take it. Still gonna go though, but all right, not bad. I had eight, but you know, it's cool. I'm not staying with these things too long. Boom. Take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. 7,700. That's quarantine money. Quarantine money right there. The question is, um, with the with the, the the three push profit rule, do you count the entry bar? Only if from your entry price, that same bar shoots forward very powerfully, then yes. If your entry bar doesn't, you don't have a push after your entry price, then no. Nice, William.
Tyler, did you short that Starbucks too? Oh, okay. You're out of the long? Why so late? Why why not why not out here? Yeah, you move back to the 20 period moving average. You know, red starts taking out green. Uh, I don't know why the stop out there is so late. Awesome. Pro Trading Journal, right? The software helps you uh, helps you know who you are as a trader and work on it. Love that thing. You know, guys, most traders don't know what their numbers are. And if you don't know what your numbers are, you don't know who you are, which means that you don't know what your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, what you need to improve, what you need to accentuate. So basically, you're just gambling. That's all. When you don't know who you are, you don't know your numbers, you know, you're just gambling. You're just waking up in the morning and hoping today is different from yesterday, thinking that that's the way success comes in this business. It doesn't. You got to know your numbers. You got to know things like, what's my best tactic? Where, where's my strength? What am I the best at? What price range do I do the best in? What's my win-loss ratio? What's my average losing trade? What's my average winning trade amount? What's my worst symbol, my best symbol, my, my best tactic, my worst tactic? This is knowing who you are. This is knowing yourself. And if you don't know who you are, you don't know what kind of trader you are. You don't know what you're good at, what you're weak at. How can you go into the market with a plan? It's impossible. And any trader who goes into the market without a plan that does not know what they're working on is not a trader. They're a gambler. And success doesn't come to those. Know thyself. Age of wisdom. Know thyself. You like to, you like to live dangerously, I see. Yeah, different, a difficult market scenario here in a way, guys, because, you know, you're stuck between, you're stuck. And a lot of these trap zones,
All right, guys. I want you being really careful. Remember that Mondays are supposed to be conservative days, right? Most novices, Monday is their most aggressive day because it's the first part of the week. They've been cooped up all weekend, anxiously awaiting the first market open of the market week. And boom, they get two black eyes on Monday, which affects their trading for the rest of the week. Not smart. You gradually grow in aggression and in risk as you start to build your week. You know, so if there's any day that should be dedicated to one lot days, it's Monday. Does that make sense? Jose is asking Oliver a quick question. Do I find myself trading the afternoon more? I might. I might. It just depends, guys. Um, it depends on. Remember, this quarantine does not affect my life at all. Like I still have the same responsibilities. So what prevents me from trading the afternoon hasn't changed because of the quarantine. You know. I still have special privileged content to get out for the my VIP trading club members. I still have training sessions. I still have mentorship sessions. These are the things that prevent me from sitting at the screen and trading all day. And those things haven't changed just because the world is on quarantine. So like I was saying before, people will turn us into the enemy you're going to see this more and more traders that we're going to become the enemy because we are not affected we are immune to this we actually profit from this and the world hates that the regular world will hate us they will turn on us do you understand what i'm saying to you Awesome, Mary. They will turn on us every time. And you will hear, you will start increasingly hear the mantra, how can you talk about people benefiting when so many people are devastated? How can you talk about opportunity and preach opportunity when so many people are devastated? How can you talk about financial freedom? How can you talk about financial independence when so many people are devastated? That's the age old mantra that keeps generation after generation after generation locked in poverty and locked in a perpetual state of being the victim. The victim of the, the victim of every upcoming disaster in life. The victim of their own circumstances, the victim of internal circumstances, the victim of external circumstances. The cycle will never change. It's the victim mentality. And it will never change. There's nothing we can do about it. And like I said last night, I make no apologies about doing what I've done for the last 33 years. I make no apology about taking advantage of opportunity. I make no apology about making money for my family when I can make money for my family. I make no apology about preaching from the rooftops the same way I've done for the last 25 years now. I make no apologies for giving out the warning that this was coming two months ahead of time. I make no apology for these things. 
And I make no apology about being proud of you guys working on your craft. I make no apology about uh, congratulating you, whether we have quarantine or not, for a good trade. I make no apologies about these things. You understand? None. No one's going to make me feel bad because the, you know, um, of this situation. You know, if you're, if you're a nurse in this scenario, that's what you do. You're a nurse. If you're a garbage man and you still have to pick up garbage on the street during this quarantine, no one is going to fault you for doing your job. We're traders. Our job is to trade. Don't let anyone make you feel bad about doing your job. Nice. Look at what Eric said. Eric is saying, speaking of money for the family, Oliver, thank you. I listened and cashed in my entire portfolio in January against the advice of my financial advisor. Thank you. Now, what does your financial advisor say, Eric? You're a genius? <laughs> That's crazy. Tyler said so did his parents. His parents did the same thing. <laughs> Eric says I had to fight my financial guy. That's so funny. You had to fight your financial advisor. Tyler, your your the advisor called them back to say they made a wise choice. After fighting as well, awesome. That's crazy, but awesome at the same time. Yeah, several people have uh, reached out to me and told me that they've saved millions of dollars listening to uh, me when I said we're 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 poised for one of the biggest drops in history. All right, guys, good job, good job. Sri Harsha, you cashed in in early February, awesome. I'm glad you guys listened. All right, guys, look. Oh, he's downplaying everything now? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Where is the YouTube English version of the live session? On YouTube, what do you mean? What do you mean, where's the YouTube English version? It's on YouTube. Where else, gonna, where else is it gonna be? No, it's in Spanish and English. So I have a Spanish version and an English version. On the internet, <laughs> that's right, Jose. <laughs> Guys, if you missed my trading masterclass on the weekend, trust me when I tell you that event will sharpen you up more so than someone who's not mine. You guys are mine. So you will get 95% more value out of it than someone off the street. All right, so take that in when you can. It's in both English, an uh, English version and a Spanish version. You'll see the, you'll see it on my YouTube page. Get over there when you can. Like the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you need to do so. Don't think that stuff is just for beginners, please. You need it to click the bell. Make sure you, you click the bell to get notifications.
and out. You grab it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. All right, guys, look, enjoy the rest of your day. Be careful. Be smart. Love you guys. Ciao for now. Boom. Williams, Williams asking one more thing. Williams asking Oliver, if I, um, is there a limit for trades? I mean, like if I have taken five good trades and I'm and I'm profitable and I see a strong signal, can I keep trading? Absolutely. There is no limit, but you need to know yourself, right? So you need to keep track of when do you start to break down at what number? Is it five trades? Is it seven trades? Is it three trades? Know yourself. That might change over time, but know yourself currently. It's all about tracking, guys, not about guessing. When you track, you don't have to guess. All right. What was my PL right here? Is that what you were asking? All right, cool. Boom.